All right, so in part one, we built the client and we had it call into the um, block store with a bunch of commands in a test-driven development environment. So what we're going to do in this part of the, the tutorial is we're going to build the minimal implementation of the block server that's going to fail all the tests. Then in the third part, we'll actually make the block server uh, work correctly. So what I did uh, in order to figure out what stubs we have to have create in the block server was I ran this command. This is the command that will run the stub compiler and generate all of the um, code that we need for the block store based on the, uh, the surf store specification. So once I ran that, it, it completed, and uh, we now have um, a new directory. So we have this directory called target, which has a bunch of different things in it, but one of the things is that it has in there is um, some files that got automatically created. And in fact, inside of here, we can see our package and we can see these two different files, one for the block store service, one for the metadata store service. And we are in fact going to uh, work on the block store. So if we come in here, there's gonna be a bunch of auto-generated things. Um, and one of the most important things is that this is this base class I got built. So as you can see, we've got uh, ping, we've got store block, we've got uh, get block and, and has block. So these are the ones we're gonna implement. So let's just go ahead and copy them right over. So we're actually just going to uh, go ahead and copy these files over. So I'm gonna copy these lines and let's go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and add this. So this is gonna go inside a block store. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and paste these all here, get rid of these comments. If you're using an integrated you know, development environment or if you're using some kind of other um, uh, uh, system other than VI, you might be able to, um, to, to just copy and paste these with your mouse. But um, in our case, we're just going to implement them right here. So, um, going to indicate that we're overriding these and now we're ready to implement. So what's going to happen here? Well, um, initially we're probably just going to print out a log message. So we could say something like logger.info, you know, what is this one? Store block. So storing block with hash and we want to print out the hash value maybe. So we have this request right here and it has a um, method called get hash that returns a string. Okay, great. Uh, maybe right here we can add this one too. Getting block with hash, blah, blah, blah. And then there's this last one. Testing for existence of block with hash, whatever. Great. Now we can't quite finish here because in fact, these actually expect values in, in return. So store block um, expects an empty, uh, it expects a uh, message of type empty empty that actually just doesn't have anything in it. You can think of it like void. So in order for this to actually work, we're gonna, we're gonna have to build that. So in order to do that, we're gonna rely on the empties builder. And since there's nothing in it, we can just build our object right there. And we have this kind of unusual way of returning things in gRPC. And I'm just gonna copy it from ping. So there's our response and we're done. So these two lines are effectively like calling return. Okay, great. Um, so let's do the same thing for get block. So in this case, we're going to actually have to return a block of some kind. So we might say block uh, response equals block dot uh, new builder dot build. And then let's go ahead and uh, do that. And then finally for has block, uh, we're going to um, return back a, uh, a simple answer. So let's go ahead and copy these lines over. Well, let's and um, we probably want to give it just some value, maybe like false, for example. Okay, good. And so that will ensure that we can now implement it. Okay, so let us go ahead and run the um, 
the package command, which will actually build all the code, and then we can try testing it.